Hello, my name is Dr. Sadaf and I'm one of the junior doctors in this department. Uh, I'll be performing the respiratory examination on Dr. Kamran over here today. Hello, Dr. Kamran. Hello. How do you do? I'm good, thank you. Uh, I will be performing the respiratory examination on you. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. Uh, ideally, I would like him to be uh, exposed above the waist uh, for a good examination. Uh, I'll start from the general examination of the respiratory system. Uh, could I have a, a look at your hands, please? Uh, the other hand as well. There is no paler, no pulmonary thema, no sweating. Uh, in the nails, I cannot appreciate any clubbing, colonychia, uh, no nicotine or tar staining. And uh, could you please place your arms out like this? I cannot appreciate any fine tremors in case of um, salbutamol uh, or ILD use. And uh, now if you could please keep your hands there and move them to the back like this. And open your fingers. There are no flapping tremors in my patient as well which are seen in CO2 narcosis. Thank you very much. You can relax. I'll be feeling for the pulse, which is regular, good volume, normal rate. Ideally, I'd like to take blood pressure and a respiratory rate as well. Could you please look up towards the ceiling? And now down towards your feet. No ictus or um, paler noted in the eyes. Could you stick out your tongue for me? Thank you very much. No cyanosis seen in my patient. Uh, could you look towards the other side? The JVP is not increased in my patient, it is normal, you can relax now. And uh, now moving on to the inspection of the respiratory system of the chest. There are two places I would look from the foot end first on a 45 degree angle. So there is no discharge, redness, sinus swelling, no respiratory distress and uh, no bulging of the precordium, no flail chest. And now from the side, I cannot appreciate any bulge, any... Uh, respiratory dis distress, no subcostal or intercostal recessions. Uh, now moving on to the, thank you very much, moving on to the um, palpation of the patient. Um, the trachea is central with three fingers. You can feel the middle finger can tell you the trachea is central and midline. Uh, I'll be gently um, pressing on your chest. Let me know if you feel any pain. Check for any tenderness in the patient before moving on with the palpation. So the patient is not tender. Moving on to um, uh, checking the expansion of the chest. So uh, you check your thumbs approximately, uh, approximating on both sides uh, symmetrically to check for normal chest expansion. Uh, please, if you could take deep breaths for me, in and out. Thank you very much. Checking for the apices first. Then the mid zones. Allow your thumbs to move freely and again. Thank you very much and again. The chest expansion is normal in all three zones in my patient. Uh, moving on uh, from the palpation, I will be gently tapping on your chest, okay? Uh, do let me know if you feel any pain. So I'll be percussing in, uh, firstly, the supraclavicular areas for the apices and then coming down to all the different zones. So, above the clavicles, on the clavicles. It should be a free movement on your wrist. The percussion note is uh, not dull or hyper-resident, it is normal in my patient. Uh, moving on to the auscultation in my patient, I'll be looking at all three different zones, asking my patient to breathe in and out. Could you please take deep breaths in and out for me? Do not miss the lateral sides out again. 
sides of the lungs. And again, thank you very much. Now, could you please, please say 999 for me? 999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-999-